Hi, this is uh, Rich uh, Mernado with the uh, Rich Mernado News Network, and this is my coronavirus update for uh, Sunday, uh, March the 8th, 2020, and I want to present to you a few um, news sound bites uh, from around the place, from all over the United States. One is from my colleague, Six Hexenhammer, on his daily coronavirus update, also on uh, YouTube and, and a few other platforms as well, such as Brightian and BitChute which I am on all of the above. I have a channel on YouTube, on Brightian and BitChute, and I want to urge you to follow me on any f platform which, which you wish and to share, share my videos as well. And then there's a sound, a new sound bite after that as well. So uh, this is today's uh, coronavirus update. Rich Renardo with the Rich Renardo News Network. We got to look at this uh, this way. It is now basically endemic. The, the disease is, is beyond the control of mankind at this point. At this point, there's not a whole lot to do. Do some basic preparation for the panic and then realize that this will spread across the globe. Uh, it will continue to grow as an epidemic. You're going to get decreasing numbers of reports on new cases because the number of test kits is insufficient. They're either not deployed or they're selectively deployed or they're, or they're not deployed at all because they don't exist in a country. They've run out of test kits. Um, they're not even that good anyway, so it's pointless. At this point, you're not getting accurate numbers. We've got probably several hundred thousand additional cases that they're not documenting simply because the person's not sick enough to bother to come in to get tested in the first place. Oh yeah, I went to Venice, you know, a week ago and got the sniffles. Eh, who fucking cares? I've just got the sniffles. I'm not going to bother. Because if I don't have it and I go to the hospital where other people may have it, I may get it. It's not actually that bad a philosophy when you really come to think about it. Most of the people who will die of this are people who are quite old or already sick. We have to, we have to understand that there's not a whole lot that the governments of the world at this point are actually capable of doing. Can they stop the flu? Unexpected. We have watched the numbers of cases increase daily across the U.S. And it was just a matter of time before Texas announced its first case. This is a rapidly evolving situation, and we know it's unsettling for our residents. We want you to remember that there are things that you can do to protect yourselves and your families. Remaining calm is of utmost importance. You can help by not going to the emergency room unless it's essential. Emergency rooms need to be able to serve those with the most critical needs. If you have symptoms like a cough, fever, or other respiratory problems, please contact your doctor. Secondly, you can practice healthy hygiene habits every day, and those will help to prevent the spread of respiratory illnesses like COVID-19. That Fort Bend man had traveled recently, but is